This is developing overnight as shooting in Southeast leaves one woman dead and Metro police tell us the victim is a special police officer. So 7 News reporter Kristen Powers is live at the scene right now. She has new developments for you. Hey, Kristen. Robert, good morning. So this is still a very active scene. Police are still in the area and this morning they are looking for whoever shot and killed the female special police officer. We know that the shooting happened around 840 last night on 10th place southeast near Oak Hill Apartments in uh, Congress Heights. We saw a lot of police activity within that apartment complex as well. The Metro Special Police Department is a private law enforcement agency. They provide police security and protective services within the district and have full arrest powers on the property or within the area that they are assigned to a project. We are told that this special police officer was on duty. Police say they have notified her family uh, and at this point they are not sharing her name. Police right now, they say they are looking for a white Camry with dark tinted windows and they are offering up to a $25,000 reward for information that leads to an arrest and conviction in this case. If you have any information at all, police are asking you to call that number on your screen 202-727-9099 or text 504 one one. We are going to stay here on scene. This is a developing story. Uh, police are still here as well. So as we learn new details, we'll bring those straight to you in Southeast DC. I'm Kristen Powers 7 News and 7 News is on your side. First at six o'clock tracking that ticking clock because we're just 10 days away from the deadline for DC fire and EMS workers to be vaccinated against COVID-19. That's right. At this hour, more than 400 firefighters and paramedics are refusing the shot, claiming a religious exemption. 7 News DC Bureau Chief Sam Ford joins us live now. And Sam, you just talked to a law professor about whether those requests will actually hold up. Well, that is a question whether it will hold up, although the form, the religious accommodation form, has a clause that says it can be denied if it causes a hardship. D.C. firefighters who not only fight fires on trucks but also work transporting patients on ambulances are standing out among D.C. employees for trying to avoid getting vaccinated for COVID. They go into people's homes. They're providing health care in the back of an ambulance. They live together. That was yesterday when the city released numbers showing of 2,124 fire EMS employees, 419 or 20% are filing for religious accommodation forms to avoid being vaccinated. I am very sympathetic to legitimate religious exemptions to vaccine laws. GW Law Professor Emeritus Peter Myers used to run the university's vaccine litigation clinic. He says religious exemptions usually apply to small groups like Mennonites. Give me a break. Is it to all vaccines? Are you refusing to get your children? I assume many of those firefighters have children which are in the public schools. Mayor Bowser says the claims will be scrutinized vigorously and Myers said they should be. We need to respect it when it is sincere, but it should not be abused for people who don't want to get vaccinated for whatever reason. I mean, and firefighters should be in the forefront of people like healthcare workers who see that there is a crisis in America today. And uh, he says that basically the city should continue to fight this thing. He says if they have children in public schools, they get vaccinated. Is there a religion element there? If not, uh, that is one of the things that the city should consider in whether to accept or reject the claims. Reporting live from Engine 10 in Northeast Washington, I'm Sam Ford, 7 News. All right.